This caster wheel failed in normal operation. It was part of my scaffolding. In this video, let me share a little bit about how and why this caster failed. Basically, the short story is, it was manufactured incorrectly. It was doomed the minute it was made. So, let me explain. This part of the caster here, this dowel end, is uh, made to be inside a tubular scaffold frame. Inside the scaffold uh, frames end, it's held in place by this pin and that's how it is in place in operation. This pin goes through the metal frame as well as this dowel. As you can see, I have lost all of the marbles, these bearing balls from the caster. It has two bearing surfaces. One row of upper bearing balls are here and one lower set is there underneath this crowned wheel. On a caster that's intact, you can see how these look like. There's the upper set of bearing balls and inside there there's the lower set of bearing balls. There, you can see them. So that's the intact one. How this failed and what happened here is fairly straightforward. This is part of a scaffold frame that's manufactured by MetalTech or marketed under the name MetalTech and it's a 500 pound painter scaffold. It's a light duty scaffold. There were some tools loaded on the scaffold less than its rated capacity and was pushed over this threshold, a standard residential threshold that's between two rooms. When the scaffold, when the uh, wheel hit this threshold, it got bent at the neck there. This part of the dowel is 22 millimeters or 7 eighths of an inch in, in, in diameter, that's how thick it is, but at the neck where it got bent, that you can see right about there, it's only 12 and a half millimeters, half an inch. So whereas it looks big and strong on the outside, it's functional, critical part, the diameter at the neck where the most amount of, amount of uh, bending moment is generated and it needs to be the strongest, that's where it's the weakest and thinnest. So the neck got bent and that introduced a sideways, sideways play to this dowel. And with this sideways play, this plate opens up a little more than usual. As it opens up a little more, one bearing ball drops out, and then a second, and a third, and then they're all out, basically. That's what happens. That's how the mechanism of damage happened, okay? So, it got bent at the threshold, and, uh, and it's bent at the neck, and all the bearing balls come out once it's bent because it's got too much sideways play. So, why this bent is fairly straightforward. It was, like I said, incorrectly manufactured. This part was made turned on a lathe. I know this because I can see the center point that was created by the lathe and depending on the angle of lighting you can see circular pattern of sc scratch marks or machining marks, there you have it. The circular pattern of machining marks, how this dowel is manufactured. Of course a hole is drilled into it and the lower end is also, this whole dowel is made from a, from a rod that's this big and the thinner part of the pin, the 12 millimeter or half inch thick part at the neck is turned on a lathe. That's how this is made. It's a problem because because this part as is is not hardened. It's soft and it's thinnest where it needs to count the most or needs to be the strongest. So I'm gonna replace it with something that eliminates these problems. 
on this caster the stem of the caster or this dowel is replaced by a common bolt. This is an expandable uh, rubber sleeve and uh, when this bolt is turned this expandable rubber sleeve is, co is compressed vertically so it expands sideways so that holds the caster in place inside the tubular metal scaffold frame. So if I take this nut off at the end, there's this rubber, that's a plastic sleeve, a washer, and we have a plain bolt. Now the plain bolt is also 12 millimeters or half an inch in diameter. So how is this an upgrade? Well, bolts are hardened. Bolts are manufactured by cold forming and throughout that manufacture that cold forming it passes through pressure rollers and it work hardens. All bolts are hardened whereas the original equipment like I said was made on a lathe and is not hardened. This, uh, this round stock from which the, this dowel is manufactured is hot rolled okay it's made of, it's, it's made when it's red hot and is uh, fairly spongy much like play-doh and is displaced in, in uh, pressure rollers fairly simply it's hot formed okay it's not hardened it's made when it's when it's hot or high temperature and then when it's cold it's uh, finished dimensions are adjusted or set on a lathe. It doesn't have a chance to work hard then. It's not happening when it's turned on a lathe. So this bolt is work hardened and it is easily replaceable. If it gets bent it doesn't affect the bearings or or the plate that holds the bearings either the upper one or the lower one. This one doesn't look so it doesn't have a crown there but you get the idea. This bolt simply pushes out and it's easy to replace. So this is gonna be my upgrade instead of getting an identical replacement uh, caster from uh, Metal Tech because I would be in exactly the same corner with exactly the same Chinese caster wheel that's just as good as the previous one.